Hi, welcome back to good old Arvine. Um, I'm Greg and I got some stories to share with you today. Um, have you ever been woke up at like 3 o'clock in the morning with this annoying beep, 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 and you think it's something terrible's happening? And so, let me tell you, more than likely, this little guy right here. This is my propane sensor. And I got some stuff to share with you about it and how to replace it and how to make everything all better again. So hang in there. Okay, so you and can see it's here we flashing go. red. It's giving the alarm. And so you come over here and you think you're going to reset it. So you push the button. And you see it's flashing two green and two red. Two green and two red means end of life, EOL. And so that means it's required to be replaced. And so hopefully I got that. See, I'll try it one more time. Okay. See, two red, two green. And the beep. Okay. That means end of life, it has to be replaced. And I'll show you that in just a second. Okay. So I had already removed it, that's why these are cut off. I just put it together temporarily so you can see the difference. Okay. Right see what it says. So, let's take a close look at this. Okay. See red, red, green, green, EOL. EOL means end of life. If you get a red, green, it says replace, and so it's really not that much difference. Uh, red is just the alarm going off. Green is just showing it has power. But if you read right here, right, let's see, right here, replace. 60 months after retail purchase, retail sell. Well, 60 months is five years, so after five years, that's all they're good for. So, for this particular model right here, I looked it up last night, it was about uh, you could just round it out to about 50 bucks, okay? But they were they were higher and they were a little lower, and so the average I'd say is around $50 range. This one, also if you notice, is only an RV, an RV propane gas detector. This is not carbon monoxide detector. And so, these everywhere I looked were out of stock. And so I was able to find a new one, which is both carbon monoxide and propane and that's what I'm going to be installing and so as I was trying to look up everything to uh, to find a new one to replace this one because I wanted to just get the same exact thing over again I couldn't find one anywhere there were none to be found um, I could find them, but out of stock. And so this one was roughly $50 range. And so I was like, okay, every five years I have to replace that one for 50 bucks. Okay, I could do that. But it turns out that uh, I couldn't do that because they didn't have any. And so my only other option, they had the uh, mono, <laughs> mono, they had the uh, carbon monoxide sensor by itself or they had a combination carbon monoxide and propane detector and so um, I ended up getting the propane detector and carbon monoxide detector as a combination unit and so um, I'll show you how I had to install that one because they don't install the same so you can see on this right here so you can see it has a plate that it just slid on 
and that's how it installed you just slide it on that plate and bam you're done and that's great to have it like that when you're on a curved wall and there's a lot of studs in the wall to avoid but when they don't have this available you have to make do and kind of figure out what you got going on for yourself and so this is what I did right here seems to fit good though. Blue seems to fit good. Okay, it says replace 60 months after retail sale. Estimated 60 models, okay, different language. Okay, red green is a fault or low voltage. Okay, well, it's not red green, it's just green flashing alone. Red, red, green, green is end of life. And so, green on is power. So, I'm going to guess that's it. Alarm will will not operate without power. Green light must be on. Do not connect to wall switch controlled out. Let's see. Additional instructions on back. Disconnect power. Read owner's manual before installing. Okay. I think it I think it flashes till it gets a reading. So anyways, what I'm gonna do is take care of this heat shrink right now. Still a little hot, so I'm just gonna let this sit. I think I can install it this way because I think this is the sensor and I want it close to the ground as possible. Okay, those have cooled off good. Okay, there we go, just like that. that okay and so after it sits I guess it's in a learning mode that's why it's flashing and now that it's been in there for a couple minutes it's a solid green which is good it means you have full power okay so I hope that showing you all the goods and bads of these monitors or detectors and uh, how I had to install one that wasn't the original one and the things that are different between them um, how one's recessed in the wall and the other ones on a plate on the outside of the wall and so hopefully all this um, informed you 
of what you could be facing in the future if you haven't already had to replace one. And so um, that's all great. And so mine's working great now, thank goodness. Don't have to get woke up at two or three in the morning anymore. But uh, yeah, so I'll talk to you next time. And so uh, enjoy. I'll talk to you soon and safe travels.